Hi and welcome to this edition of Out of the Box. My name is Paul Sillers. Today we're going to be having a look at what is in this box. This is the new um, Ubiquiti USW 16 port PoE Plus switch. Um, not meant to be a technical overview, but it should give you an idea of what the switch is, what the switch can um, do and what you get in the box. So I'm just going to open up the top here. And the first portion you're going to get, you're just going to get a box of the start of the bits. Um, just give you an example of what's there. So you have the uh, rack mount ears. Um, the great thing is, because these are not already welded onto the unit, you can either mount these, uh, let me just get this right way around like this, so you'd normally put it into a rack, or if you were to rotate this round, um, obviously you could now screw this into, um, you, know, you could screw it up that way, for instance, and put mount it um, on the underside of a shelf or in a cupboard or on a wall, um, and gives you some great mounting options. Um, if you're extending networks in somebody's property or even in a, an office. Um, so you will get a whole load of mounting screws to make that happen and the rack mount lugs in there. You're gonna get a get started guide, uh, which is all the way down at the bottom of the box here. Um, and you will get a power lead. Um, this is an IEC, so standard kettle lead. Um, on here we've got the Australian power plug because that's where we are. So I'm just going to um, reach in here now and we'll just take this uh, unit out the box oh, onto the floor. All right, so as I said to you, this is the new USW switch. There are a few features on here you need to be aware of um, because they're gonna catch you out slightly if you've been used to purchasing all of the standard um, US dash switches. So let's just open um, this out of its packaging. Um, and then we'll just talk about um, some of those gotchas. All right, so let's get this up the right way for everybody first. All right, so this is, as I said, the US W-16. What do we have? What does it expect? So we have eight ports of PoE. So traditionally, if you've been purchasing Ubiquiti switches for a while, you'd have been used to all of the ports being PoE enabled, unless you bought the original US-861. So this uh, unit itself, the, 60, uh, the, 100, uh, sorry, the 16 port, only has 60 watts of power and it has only eight ports of PoE. But you need to know also, these are PoE plus ports. So if you've been used to having one of these in your network and being able to go into uh, the profile for the port and changing it to 24 volt passive or PoE plus, you don't have that option anymore. So if you have any legacy cameras, access points, or you're running some of the Air Max stuff, this won't power it. So I suggest that you do have around some of the time one of these, um, these are the uh, Ubiquiti Instant Converters. This is the 100 meg model. This will take 48 volts in the one side and bring it out to 24 volt passive on the other side. So if you are upgrading the network, um, please do bear that in mind. So over here, we have a uh, touch screen. This is again controlled from the unified controller. You can turn it off and it's timeout and everything. And we'll show you some of the statistics of what's going on, IP address of the uh, switch and those type of things. Obviously, like I said, we've got 16 ports over here, 20, um, 60 watts of power in total, eight ports. You'll see above here, um, we've got some slots in here. This is a completely fanless model. Um, if you're used to the previous 16 watt, it used to power up every few minutes, whir away at full tilt and then turn its fans off. Um, Ubiquiti have really made a move on these slightly more enterprise switches. We have um, cooling intakes across the top here. Um, and we have vents at the back, and you'll see these in the Pro model as well, where we've got back to front cooling. You'll see that there's no longer any side venting um, on these. So fantastic, we can mount them in the rack. Do be aware of which way you're pushing the air through the rack if you run a hot or cold aisle containment system. So as I said, 16 ports, eight ports of PoE+, plus, two SFPs uh, slots here. These are one gigs. Um, and then let's turn this round as we mentioned on the back, we have our uh, cooling vents um, and we have our IEC power connector here. So a fantastic switch, uh, really moving into the enterprise space now. Um, these Ubiquiti ones, we're starting to, we've been promised a whole load of layer three um, features at the time of this recording, which we'd previously seen on the edge switches. So pretty excited about that, but do just remember those um, small gotchas. Only eight ports on this are powered. 60 watts total output, it's a PoE plus switch, so you don't get the choice between 
24 um, volts and 48 volts, it is all 48 volts. So do use those Insta converters if you need to, so you can still power your legacy equipment. So hopefully that's been useful. This is the USW-16.